Hey guys, this is Hakim Parimathan Electric. Okay, so today we are gonna check, uh, we are gonna see on how to check a compressor, inverter compressor to be more specific. Inverter with a controller unit compressor such as this Hisense compressor, Hitachi and Samsung. So their methods are all the same. Alright, they are all the same as long as they are inverter DC compressors. Alright, which means that you are gonna use a motherboard to check it. So let me start from the basic on how to check a compressor or uh, inverter compressor whether it's inverter or it's normal okay if it has 600 gas it doesn't always mean that it's inverter i've seen normal compressor with 600 gases i've seen inverter compressors with 134 gases so it varies it's not always the same way all right as long as there's no 220 to 240 voltage as you guys can see 65 to 180 v all right this one has nothing in here if there's written uh if there's written 220 to 240 voltage then you can test it directly but as you guys can see it's 160 to 240 volt all right so this is a, an inverter also i'll show you an example of a non-inverter so this is not this is not a, an inverter compressor it's a normal compressor and as you guys can see it has 220 to 240 voltage so whatever the compressor as long as it has 220 to 240 voltage you can test it directly with live and neutral you don't need this method but for those who want to check the inverter compressor let's start so let me get one thing straight the inverter compressors are really broken they're not always broken very quickly or because they have 10 to tens of years of warranty on them and they're not that easily broken if they are broken they might have a reason or they there might be just you know will of god so what what i what i can tell you guys is that if an inverter compressor is okay all right and it's not running or are you guys not sure that it's a pc board problem of the refrigerator or a compressor then if it has a compressor problem the inverter compressor will always run the inverter compressor will always run but for a one or two seconds and then it will stop. If it doesn't run that way, then I can guarantee you 99% that it is a PC board problem. You, you, you guys understand? If the compressor does not run at all, not even for a second, it's usually the PC board problem. But if it runs, but if it uh, runs and then stops, then it's a compressor problem. So on how to check a compressor, the, it's, it's very easy. Or you, you, it's, it's actually very easy, people don't understand. So you, you, all you need is a multimeter, put it into the continuity. This is my very old multimeter, I use this for videos because the other ones are in the bag and I don't want to break them because I tend to break meters very 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 quick, I don't know why. So as you guys can see I put it on the continuity X10K, alright, and the meter is here. All you need to do is you can, you can, you can check its terminals, you see. It runs all right and then you can test it all with like you can test all of them and it sh they should have the same amount of continuity they should have the same amount of growth all right if they have different or they have a lot different then it's usually uh, the compressor is broken down the it's three antennas uh, the, it's three springs it has three springs such such as like this way and then yeah it has three triangular springs and that's what protects it. For example, if it's, if it's broken here, it's usually that the, that's why the compressor is not running at all. But if the compressor runs and then it stops, uh, I, I mean that if a compressor does not run at all, then it is a 100% problem of the refrigerator's um, PC board. So I'm not going to waste your time. And I'm just going to tell you that the, if your PCB, if your refrigerator's compressor, inverter's refrigerator's compressor does not run at all, it is usually the PC board problem. This motherboard's problem. Alright. But if it runs and then it stops, then it's usually the compressor's problem. And that's it. I don't want to drag the story and say that subscribe to my channel. But you, you guys know what to do. Alright. If you like my videos, just please subscribe. Just please share. Show me your support, guys. Thanks.